Hello and welcome viewers of AVG News. Uh, I'm here just to give a brief update or to respond or to, 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 to a few people who sent or are still sending messages to me via WhatsApp, some are sending via Facebook, uh, seeking to know what exactly is happening in Johannesburg. There is a high level of panic, uh, especially from Zimbabweans. Uh, and other nationalities who live in Johannesburg and Gauteng. So this is what I want to respond to. Uh, before I go ahead, may I request you, as is usual, to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it. Uh, the questions that I've been getting mainly are based on the pictures and videos that are circulating uh, all over social media of police vans uh, and uh, those kumba kumbas uh, that are on the robot signs that are chasing after people in Yeovil, in Johannesburg, and in Hillbro, and some buildings that were under siege from apparently police officers who were raiding them. Uh, so what we have gathered is that it is indeed true that there is a police operation that was ongoing today uh, is part of operation ukai mlao uh, where is the law and it seeks to restore law and order especially in this johannesburg central district uh, where there seems to be uh, a high level of concentration of not only migrants but also criminals that are hiding uh, among our migrant communities. Uh, those who live in Johannesburg, uh, especially those who live in Hillbro and neighboring areas, you would know that there was a, a shootout which occurred there a few days ago, and we are told that uh, one of the victims of that shootout of the people who were fatally shot uh, was a police officer. Uh, we were told that there was an attempt to rob a certain uh, shop there, and then the police responded to that. There was a shootout involving these criminals and members of the South African Police Service and security guards who were manning that shop. And two people were killed. We were told that one of them uh, was a police officer. Uh, we are not certain yet because we haven't had any confirmation, but now the police have responded to that uh, to try and restore law and order uh, in the CPD, in Hillpro, and in neighboring uh, areas like Yeovil uh, and Berea. So what we have been told is that they have indeed been uh, some raids in some flats which are suspected to have been um, hijacked. You know, when people hijack flats, what they do is that they stuff them with their cronies who end up not paying rent. Sometimes they put people there who end up uh, being charged exorbitant amounts but usually those that are put uh, or that are stuffed with people who don't pay rent become problematic because uh, the local authority goes there they switch off the electricity and leave people there and then these people who live in what is called these dark cities end up committing crimes they end up robbing people who pass by there are a number of those flats or, or such flats especially in Hillbro which have become a no-go area. So the police would target these kinds of areas, and we are told that one of the flats uh, that was raided is owned by the Helen Sussman Foundation. It is in Hillbrom, and that is where uh, some police vans were seen parked, and people were arrested there. About 80 people were taken uh, for fingerprints clearance uh, at the nearby Hillbrook police station but we are told that some of them have already been released we are not certain about the number of illegal immigrants who were arrested because you know that whenever police uh, raid these areas they also target even illegal um, illegal immigrants uh, and they have to take them out there for screening in the police stations and some are then charged with illegal migration the other issue is uh, people have been asking why uh, uh, are the authorities or rather why are the migrant uh, community leaders uh, not intervening in this? Why are political parties not intervening in this? And why are community groups 
not intervening in these rights, uh, it becomes difficult uh, to stand up for people who are illegal in a, in a country because illegal uh, migration is on its own an offense and it is chargeable by law. So when police raid these kinds of people, the uh, the only thing that these human rights organizations uh, or political party leaders or other community organizations can intervene in is when the rights of these people are then uh, breached in the process of arresting them. If they are beaten up, if they are illegally detained for a very long time, extrajudicial detentions, that is, that is what they are called, uh, happen. That is only when uh, they can be any intervention but if they are arrested for being illegal in a country uh, then there is nothing that can be done because south african authorities have it within their rights to arrest uh, such people they have it within their rights to control migration uh, and to those especially those who come from zimbabwe it is advisable for you to go back home and get yourself a uh, passport it is very easy these days to get a Zimbabwean passport for, passport for as long as you have uh, money to pay for it. Because if you compare this with illegal border crossing, you'll realize that, number one, uh, it is more expensive to cross the border illegally than with a passport. Number two, it is more dangerous for you to cross the border illegally than with a passport. And number three, uh, it is uh, more... Um, you, you live a, a, a life on, of uneasiness when you are in South Africa because you have to continue running away from police if you are illegal than to, for you to be free uh, or to free, freely move around uh, if you are documented. So the passport just cost, a normal passport, it cost around $120. Uh, that is less than 2,000 rands. And a, a three-week passport, uh, a three-day passport rather, Costs you around two hundred dollars, which is slightly above three hundred three thousand rands. So, it is wiser for you to then go home and get this kind of a passport and come back to seek employment here in South Africa than for you to keep on running away from police, risking your life at the border, uh, paying exorbitant fees uh, to Malaysians for you to then come into South Africa and start living a life of running again. Uh, I hope I've uh, responded to you, those that were sending questions through. I hope now uh, that you will be uh, able to tell those that have been sending these videos to you or these pictures to you. Uh, the operation that ran today was supposed to take place between 5 a.m. Uh, and 2 p.m. But we don't know if more are going to roll out because it looks increasingly likely that more such operations will be uh, rolled out. And it is imperative for people to then make sure that they are documented and they are here in South Africa documented and easily accountable uh, for. Thank you very much. May you please subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.